Warriors make their way into the ring. First up, it is from Perth, Australia, Jack Della. Well, Josh, I thought my four hours on the train was a long journey to get here. But the man who probably swapped that with me is Jack Della, coming to us from Perth in West Australia and fighting out of the MMA clinic, Perth. Of course, that gym has links here in the UK. Jack Della not here to make up the numbers tonight. He's traveled a long way and he's going to want to go back with a big win on his ledger. Yeah, mixed record for Jack Della, three and two as a professional. However, all three of those wins have come by TKO stockage. Uh, it's somewhat of an unknown uh, quantity, to be quite honest. It's quite hard to get footage on this young man. Uh, he actually did uh, lose a couple of uh, fights right off the bat with his pro record, but managed to bounce back with three on uh, three on the run. Uh, possibly has a bit of a tie background. This is actually his third fight of 2017. So uh, staying very busy and really on winning ways right now. Absolutely, that momentum so important for many fighters. The MMA clinic gyms in this country have a reputation for being real all round. They've, they've got great wrestling, they've got great tie, they've got great boxing. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the Perth chapter brings to the cage in the form of Jack Della. Yeah, I'm going to be expecting a, a good wrestling game. Solid stand up, but definitely a good all around MMA wrestling takedown to ground and pound uh, style from this young man. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome as he makes his walk into the cage this evening, his opponent, James Duckett. And a rousing cheer from the crowd here in Liverpool for James Duckett, fighting not too far away out of Manchester in the famed SBG Mainline Gym in the Manchester city centre. Manx and Scousers, not always good friends, but there seems to be a lot of support for James Duckett here in Liverpool, Josh. Yeah, I mean, as you mentioned, SBG, a very well-known gym uh, up in these parts of the world and, and throughout most of um, the domestic and European MMA scene. James Duckett comes to us with a record of three and one, two wins by uh, TKO. Did have a very extensive amateur career, though, as uh, quite a few of the pros we'll see tonight. Competed at the uh, IWM AF Championship in Las Vegas in 2016. Had four fights in four days. Uh, really, really picked up a loss uh, in the final there. So what a what a fantastic performance from him to string those together. Absolutely, just uh, a few professional outings on his ledger, but he's fought some tough competition. He's fought the likes of Ant Davies and Daniel Cassell. Neither man anything to be sniffed at in terms of pro MMA. A strong start to his professional career for James Duckett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three rounds in the Cage Warriors welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, Jack Della. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter with a professional record of three wins and one loss. Standing six feet two inches tall, he weighed in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, James Duckett. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors welterweight division. Jack Della in the black with white trim. James Duckett in the blue. Ready, ready, Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer privileged to call the action here from Cage side at the Echo Arena. No touch of gloves, Josh. Straight down to business. Yeah, a bit of a reach advantage for Duckett. Throws out that front kick early. Really trying to show the kind of range he can cover with those strikes. And we've said it many times before, Josh, it's one thing to have a reach advantage, but to be able to fight using your length effectively is an entirely different thing. Yeah, you saw that kick there really firing from the quadricep, not really a full-on uh, roundhouse kick, but uh, it's something you can whip up a lot quicker. And Duckett really trying to keep Della on the end of these uh, early strikes here. We've seen Della switch stance a couple of times already. Looks to charge forward with those shots, but not 
landing cleanly there. You saw Della having to really get inside and throw these short hooks. Um, but that's what he's got to do to beat that kind of range. Good tie-up in the clinch here, though, trying to pummel inside, get the head position going. Let's duck it now. Just slowing the pace. Getting to work here on the fence right in front of his own, or rather his opponent's corner team. He's keeping a very high underhook, using the cage to sort of press his palm up against. Is helping him get a bit more friction, keep it high. But this is a bit of a 50-50 position here. Oh, looking for the body lock. Pummels back inside. Is he going to get the double unders? Trying to throw his opponent over the hip there was Jack Della. Not able to complete just yet. Switches no, he, for a more conventional takedown. He never really stepped across the hips enough. He was kind of stuck at the side, and you saw he was never able to get underneath his opponent and really pop his hips up. Look at walking his man down here. And that's a good combination. Always ending a strike with a kick. Back to more, more punches. By certainly keeping Jack Della guessing so far in this first round. Della again trying to close the distance and throw his man to the mat. Oh, it's a reversal, though, and it's Duckett with the first takedown of the fight. Yeah, it's a good Haragoshi. It's a really interesting grip to try and use that double overhook to, to throw your opponent. can be very strong. We've seen Greco wrestlers use it. It's a good effect. So we've got our first bit of groundwork here. Oh, looking for the Kimura, but he's back to his feet. He's going to throw here. Good oh, great reversal. work from Jack Della. Looking to finish this, Kimura drops a short elbow to the head. He's not going to get it. No, Duckett's got to snap that elbow back inside. He's given up a really deep underhook here. And he was lucky that Della wasn't able to capitalize a little bit more. Interesting run of play here. Jack Della now on top. The Aussie looking to go to work from this position and make up a bit of that lost time. You know, what was interesting about that was Della set that, that whole roll and sweep up from all the way under the bottom, turned over, turned turtle, far side armbar possibly here. You see that really deep grip. Looking to step around the head. Nice elbows there from Jack Della. Guillotine. Della attacking the neck here. Arming guillotine attempt from the Australian. Yeah, tough to set up, turns it into 100% sweep or at least tries to. No submission victories as of yet on Jack Della's record, but he clearly has some decent chops on the ground there, Josh. Yeah, a lot of good positional play. I mean, he, he's found himself reversed, so... Oh, snaps the triangle up high, crooked guard for him. He's going to drive that arm across and traps his hips back down. Duckett doing his best to sit out of this yeah, he's one. Got to, he's got to watch the arm here. The arm is definitely the secondary attack for Jack Della. And it looks like Della will come out on top again. Not able to finish the submission, but takes the top position from it, stepping over into Mount beautifully here now, Josh. A good position on top for Della. Got to throw some strikes, and he's under the chin early here. Oh, this could be all over. This is very dangerous. Duckett trying to turn into his man. Della with the big squeeze. Now Duckett is fighting that spare arm. It is very hard to finish someone with one arm, but it can be done. And that is good, def oh, good switch from Della. As this is absolutely over here. Good squeeze, good hip in. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Della was grimacing on that choke. James Duckett survives, and Della goes straight back to work, Josh. Yeah, I mean, Della's gonna get another shot at this, but he is running out of time. I think he'll kick himself if he watches that back. Head and arm set up coming. Final 10 seconds of the round, and it looks like James Duckett will survive. Interesting to have a look at that in the replay and see if it was Della giving it up or Duckett forcing the escape. But they were anxious moments for James Duckett. Yeah, real good stuff at the end of that round from Jack Della. I, uh, De Della was grimacing when he was squeezing that choke, so I, I'm certain that it, it wasn't a case of him giving it up. But let's take a look back at some of the action. Talk us through what we're seeing here, Josh. So we've got some good uh, strikes to start standing. That was Della trying to find his way on the inside. Here's the Kimura scramble. So he gets back to his feet with the grip, and you can see he's going to sit on his hip. And didn't quite get the leg inside, but didn't matter. Used it to great sweep. And here is the initial choke. And I honestly thought when he hipped in here, he was going to get the finish. Great work for Jack Della to come out on top in that scramble, though. And you've got to believe that 
James Duckett was, well, perhaps not saved by the bell, but very close to giving up the submission there. Yeah, I mean, the, the switch from Jack Della when he went from his left arm choking to his right arm choking was really fast. I mean, that was anticipated. It was, it was really, really tight grappling. I think Duckett's got to look to keep this one standing at this point because he was a bit outclassed on the ground. Absolutely. Jack Della, James Duckett, round two here at Cage Warriors 88. And what a card we've got for you this evening. We go live around the world in just under two hours' time, 9 p.m. UK time. Two world title fights and a whole host of fantastic matchups. Again, he's firing that kind of flicking front kick. Oh, he got caught there. Two huge shots. Jack Della throwing some crisp hooks. And he clinches his man up against the cage. Good game plan from Della, absolutely. Those uh, tight hooks to find his way on the inside to the clinch. Looking for the body lock now, and he's got an excellent grip for it. Double unders, tight squeeze, got good head position. You know, and obviously he's a little bit shorter than his opponent as well. That's going to help him get up underneath. Fighting for the takedown now is Della. And you've got to believe Della's confidence is going to be sky high by this point, Josh. He's clearly got the measure of his man on the ground. He's out striking him on occasion on the feet. You've got to be very confident in all phases. Yeah, absolutely. I think the way Duckett can stem the tide is just not allow this takedown. That was a good portion of defense from him. And if he can keep Della from getting this takedown, he's going to sort of bring some of the swing of the momentum back. Della just slipped on the kick there, but straight back to his feet. Duckett doing the right thing here, keeping that jab in the face of Della, but Della again able to punch around the guard. Yeah, I mean, that's that's textbook. You saw how high he managed to raise Duckett's hands with those big strikes up top. It's allowed him to get in on the hips here. Switching to an over-under. I'm surprised he relinquished. I mean, I wonder if he's starting to get a little tired with these takedown attempts now, because it's very surprising to me he relinquished that grip on the hips. Couple of nice knees to the body from Duckett, his corner. We're calling for those. Dirty boxing from Della on the inside. And if Della is tiring, you've got to believe that James Duckett will be looking for those knees and kicks to the body just that little bit more. There's still plenty of time left yet. We're really just about to hit the halfway mark in the whole fight. So, oh, good shots on the inside, that left hook. And Della's had real success with the left and the right hook. It was Duckett looking for a takedown there, but he ends up with Della in top position. And yeah, we see that uh, Haragoshi off the whizzer so frequently as a defensive throw. Just didn't quite keep it connected. And this is a bad position for James Duckett. He found himself in this spot at the end of the first round. Della, though, with two minutes to play with now, Josh. And that's a lot of time, Brad, for him to, to work through this position. Good heavy half guard here. He's got the underhook with his right arm, and Duckett's not really getting on his side and being offensive. You see how he's holding onto the head, trying to pull him close. That's really just to stop strikes. It's not going to stop him progressing his position, as we see him looking to do here. Ella just looking to pass that guard. Duckett able to recover it, though. I mean, Ella again stepping straight through. It was quite a technical guard position that James Duckett tried there with his, his left arm, but just not tight enough, and he's, he's going to pay the price for it here. And those are some big elbows from Della Duckett. Seemingly turning away there, Ooh. looking to get out the back door. He's given up his neck again, though, Josh. Yeah, and, and this and is tight. And he's flattened out on the hips. This is, this is very anxious moments for him. Mark Goddard taking a close look, and there's the submission. Jack Della earns his first career submission as a professional at the expense of James Duckett. And Josh, we said... He had Duckett in a bad spot at the end of the first round, got him in it in the second with much more time to play with, and that was all she wrote for James Duckett. Yeah, and it was good text, it was textbook MMA, as you're going to see in the replays here, you know. Use the strikes to open up the takedown, move to position, use the strikes to open up the neck, and here it was a, a really horrible flattened out position. I mean, you just don't want to be here in a match, but it was set up by the ground and pound on the elbows. It was everything you need to do right in an MMA uh, fight. I didn't even need the hooks there. Just flattened his man out, duck it, with nowhere to go. Forced to submit to Jack Della here in the second round. 
and that long plane journey back to Australia is going to feel a whole lot better for Jack Della with his fourth professional win here at Cage Warriors. We'll throw this one to Andy Friedlander in the cage, and he'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at three minutes and 44 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by submission via rear naked choke, Jack Della. Jack Della with his fourth professional win. He'll join Josh Palmer in the cage. I'm here with our winner, Jack Della. Jack, give us your thoughts on... I'm here with our winner, Jack Della. Jack, give us your thoughts on the end of that fight, because uh, it looked like when you came out for the second round, you just wanted to put it back on the ground to get the finish. Shout out to my boys back home in Perth, watching at two in the morning. Respect, boys. Love yous. Peace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jack Della. Short and sweet there from Jack Della, but he got the job done in the cage. Della with his fourth professional victory here at Cage Warriors 88.